Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. I have been patiently awaiting this set to arrive from China for two and a half months. Actually, I'm pretty impatient with this one. Um, first of all, the story kind of behind it is I saw these, these set of plates on an ad in Instagram and they were kind of pricey and I didn't know anything about um, the brand or anything so I didn't buy them however I ran across them about two and a half months ago actually probably about now it's almost three um ran across them on eBay and they were $15 for the set of six plates so I decided to buy them and I was really happy. And actually, these plates work really good. So I was kind of really um, wanting these for the Nike logos and the Adidas logos. Yep, I want my nails to match my shoes, my sandals, actually. Um, and I was pretty obsessed with the um, Sinful Colors sneaker texture polish. So I just thought that this plate would be super cool. Anyways, so there's this plate, and then they have um, a Pepsi plate, which actually I'm really liking these little, um, the bubbles and the ice cubes. I have another plate with ice cubes that I really liked, except for the ice cubes are huge. And this one looks like it's probably sort of good, better on my fingers than the other one, at least. Then they had this plate. This is probably the plate that I would not have purchased. It only has, I mean, I was purchasing for the logos. And this one only has one logo right here. And then it has some bows. The bows are super cute. But the rest of it, yeah, I'm not so fond of. Um, however, it came with the set, so whatever. I have that. Then um, we have this one. I love this one. This one has like three different sizes. So if you want to do, you know, do the large size on your thumb and the little size on a different finger, this is pretty cool. I love the apple symbol. Really awesome. Then it came with this one and these stripes work super good. Um, I was really shocked actually to tell you the truth but um this is kind of like a burberry design you know you've got your you know stripes or, or whatever what is it plaid that burberry has and then there's a couple of logos here so this one is actually i'm liking this plate as well and um and then there's this one which has more logos it's got some stripes so you can do like gucci and then uh, I'm pretty sure this is like, isn't that the Armani symbol? I think I saw it somewhere else where that was the Armani symbol. I don't really see Armani, do I? I don't know, maybe it's on the other one. But anyways, um, I think the this is super cute. I mean, it's got everything. I mean, look at it's even got the Gucci B, which I'm really not into the Gucci B, but it's there. <laughs> But anyways, I pretty much like this. I wish this one had, you know, like different, some of these logos are unique and I wish they were a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Prada, well, there is a smaller Prada somewhere else. But anyways, this is super cute. I love these plates and I thought that I would use them today and I would um, show you how they stamp. So we're going to make a Gucci design today. Along with the new plates that I got, I will be using Hit the Bottle Stamping Polishes, Make It a Mud Slide, See What I Green, Drop Red Gorgeous, and Dance Legend Gold. And then from Zoya, I'm going to be using Tasha and Jack. And from Maniology, I'll be using my favorites, Sticky Base Coat, Smudge Free Top Coat, and Ice Cube Stamper. I also have a 10% off discount code if you're interested in using that. First, I'm applying a base coat to all of my nails. On my accent nails, I'm going to use Jack.
And on my other nails, I'm going to use Tasha from the new Luscious collection. So that one looks pretty good in one coat, but I'm just going to do two because I got to do two coats of Jack anyway. I'm just going to add the second coat of Tasha and the second coat of Jack. Here's kind of funny story. Maybe not so funny. I, um, I, I wipe the polish off of the stamping plates using acetone, but then it leaves like smudges. And so I like the plates to look nice for my videos. So what I used to do is I had some 91% alcohol and I would spray it on the plate and you know, that would take care of it. Well, right now it's really hard to find 91% alcohol. So I bought some 91% alcohol, but I'm kind of saving that. And then I bought 70% alcohol, you know, to use on other things and like cleaning my stamping plates. Well, I sprayed it on my stamping plate and then I wiped it off like I usually do. And then I'm looking at it. I'm like, what are those spots on there? The water stayed by because 30% of it is water. So that was crazy. Anyways, I just had to share that little story with you. We are going to use this Gucci. Um, is that Gucci? Yeah, that's Gucci. We're going to use this Gucci symbol right here. And I've got Make Mine a Mud Slide. In the bottle, it looked to go really well with Tasha. I'm not sure what it's going to really look like, though. Oh, man, look at that pickup, guys. Ooh, that is, like, so amazing. Okay, I'm just going to get the stuff off the edges. I don't even know why I bother, because my nails are so small. That stuff really never matters, but and I don't even think that part would even touch any of my nails, but whatever. I took it off. And so now let's get in here and put this on my nails. Oh no. Okay. Oh, wow, that was pretty darn lucky. You know how I usually use sticky base coat first? Um, Guess who forgot the sticky base coat? Oh, my gosh. That was almost like a nightmare. So I am going to put my sticky base coat on my thumb because I don't really want to go through that again. So here we go. And then I'm going to wait a minute and a half and put the stamping on it. Okay, and see, that turned out so much better. Now we're going to get these stripes right here. I did test these out before I made the video because I did want to practice. Okay, so that, that came out okay, and it's a little wavy. It's not really straight. It's, I don't know, it's just super hard for me to do that type of thing straight. I think my nails might be short enough that the wiggly end won't, won't do anything. Okay, and lucky enough that that stuck down for me. If you do it fast enough and still the stamping polish is still a little tacky, you can pretty much get it on to stick pretty good. However, if it's a thinner design, like the logo part, it's a little harder to do that. Okay, let's try to get another one for my other finger. I hope you're kind of enjoying this plate. I am super enjoying it. I really love it. This is perfect. Oh, 
Oh, that one came out really straight. That's good. Except for like maybe at the very tip that's going off the, but that's actually pretty good. And let's hope that, yep, the tip of it's not even going to matter. My nails are short enough. Thank goodness. There we go. Now we're going to go for the center green stripe. is pretty good pickup. This I do have to remove the stuff on the edge. Let's see. Yeah, this one's kind of wavy all the way around. Let's see. Okay, so I got that it looks pretty good. Now I'm going to use this Gucci symbol right here. And I'm just going to do it in gold. I actually don't remember what color it is. I think it's gold. But I'm not sure. But it's gold now. Stick it on my finger. Um, and it didn't come out. There, I just worked a little faster and I just kind of pieced it over the parts that didn't come out well. So actually I did get a pretty good, pretty good one the second time. Got it to stick at least without the sticky base coat. If I had sticky base coat on there, at least part of it would have stuck, come off. So I don't know. Okay, and this one, I used the bigger, the bigger one. Oh wow, I was afraid that that was not going to come out because the sticky base coat kind of dries up after a while. So hey, that one worked out really well. Okay, now so that I don't ruin all of my hard work, I'm using the smudge free top coat. Now that everything is dry, I can just go over the top with my favorite long-lasting top coat and I won't smear anything. So I'm just going to finish this up and come back when it's dry. Okay, so here is the finished Gucci look. I really like how it came out. This is super cool. It's exactly what I wanted always wanted to, to do. Anyways, I hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching and bye for now.